Hi guys, welcome back to War World Mechanics. Today we are going to show you a simple problem to your uh, module relating to W1633, that's the Mercedes ML, all of them 320, 430, 230. So we purchased that vehicle with a bone hair, uh, airbag. It was hit in the front left and the airbag module, as you know, it's done. One, once uh, you wreck the car, you have to replace the module or if it's a faulty module, you have to replace it as well. So what you need to do, they tell you the dealership it's about uh, between $1,000 and $1,200 just for the module without the programming, buying a new one. Well, uh, let me share with you, we, we have a parts car here at the shop and it is a ML320 and the one that uh, we purchased with the bone airbag is ML430. So this is the bed module right here and we installed the module from the ML320 because the only difference is only the, uh, the number of the cylinders. The interior is absolutely the same, the same number of airbags and the same year. Both of them are 2000. So if you use from the same year, most likely the procedure will work. If it's the same month airbag module, it will definitely work, probably 90%. And I'll show you, we just installed the airbag module and after we replaced the airbag and the seat belt because the, the, the seat belt was bone. And I'm going to show you how it contacts with the, with the car and it adopts the car code. So we have the Maxi Sys right here, the MS908P. This is pretty good stuff guys, we use it a lot at the shop so subscribe to see more videos and what you can do with that thing. And now you go to the airbag module, ECU information, so you can read the airbag module that we replaced. Okay, this is the one from the parts car that we had. And it even has the Q2 and this is a Q1, but it's the same part number. And as you can see right here, it tells you everything about it. It tells you when the software, the hardware, the diagnostic identifier, everything, date of manufacturer right here. And you can see the airbag module, the number as well. It's right here, the same one. And when you start the vehicle, you do not have the airbag lights on. Everything works perfect, let me show you. You just turn the key on and off, okay. You can see the airbag lights are there and they go off after that. And everything works as it should. This is the seatbelt light, but it will go off. So instead of spending thousands of dollars, you can purchase a used one from eBay for about 30 to 45, 50 bucks. People sell them and you can do the job yourself. We have the video how to access the airbag module on our channel or just find it in the, in the description below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Give us a like if the video was helpful and we upload about a new video every day.